Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Vale of Augustus of the Dark Edge of Light here with a brand new episode of Niche or Niche. Depending on which way you say it, they're both, I believe, completely valid. And this is the newest update. You can see right off the bat there's been some graphical updates, which is really awesome. I actually had a little bit of trouble getting things started. This is a, a new world, as you can see, quite obviously. Um... I had to actually start the game first and then start recording. So anybody out there who's looking to record this newest update, at least with Fraps, um, if you start the uh, your video before you actually create the game world, it seems to be having a little bit of a trouble with, with running the resolution and the setup for the game. So start your game first, then start your recording. Just throwing that out there for anybody else in the community trying to record this. But, um, definitely the graphics are much sharper and brighter. Um, you can see a lot more details on the models, which is really cool. They've also done some really cool things with the, the plants here. As you can see, you've now got multiple colored fruits. Um, the grasses actually look a little bit better now. The water's got a little bit more texture. The coastlines have a little bit more definition and a little bit more transparency along the, the edges here. So it's just they've they've done a very nice job with this update as far as just appearance, prettiness, everything else going on there. Very, very cool. They've also made this a lot smoother. Um, before, you know, when you when you were doing rotations it was a little bit jerkier, a little bit more snap to grid. Now, as you can see, it's very, it's very flyby in appearance. So this is, this is some phenomenal, I could almost do a video just flying around like this. This is really cool. Um, they're just, I, I love this game. They've done such great things with it already, and they're just continuing to just put out a beautiful product here so definitely definitely worth checking out everybody out there so here we go we've got a brand new game we're going to first just take a look see if they've added looks like they've added some more stuff so that's cool because I think there's a, like another row in here so that'll be cool They've now got some patterns added in, it looks like. So, very cool. Alright. And... As you can see there's... So there's no... I don't know that the lean body was there before, so that's kind of cool. So it gives heat resistance up, cold resistance down. Okay, that's cool. I still haven't done anything with Fluffy Tail, but that's okay. So as always, first thing, let's let's get a, a pregnancy going. That's very important. And then, you know, let's let's get some uh, picking done. So that's interesting. So they've now added a a sound effect when you can't switch anymore. So, I'm at see at this point I'm trying to see if there's anyone else to switch with and it just won't let me. So that's interesting. And So let's see here. How far can an animal move in one action? That's very definitely cool now. How far an animal can smell here and see. All right, cool. So definitely they've they've gone a little deeper with some of that. And then this of course gives you the specifics. There's the immunities. I find it interesting they've now got some of this in here. The immunities are in the middle now. All right. So we can move her, but we're not going to. So we'll hit space. Ta-da! Okay, cool. 
Okay, so I see what's going on here. So, it used to be that all you would see on the bushes were the prepared berries. Now, you actually are getting to see that there are berries growing. So, it gives you an idea now um, about how much resources you have coming up. That's actually really, really cool because one of the things that I kept running into as a problem before was the fact that I couldn't figure out what I had available for foods. So I'm actually really glad to see that they've done something further with that um, to make it a little bit easier to tell, you know, what kinds of renewable resources I've got access to. That's exciting. So we're gonna we're gonna pick our fruit. Let's go there. Go there. I should have done a motion with them, but that's okay. Okay, now the Joey can pick, so that's good. And found another nest. And hey, there we go. Multiple berry bushes. And there's another nest right there. That's exciting. So we've actually got some decent options going this time. Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, look at that. More berry bushes. So this, this has the potential to be an amazing run for me. I'm actually really excited. So I'm just going to spend some time giving myself some clearance in the area just because that's going to help us protect ourselves from predators. And geez, I keep doing that. All right, let's see. So this is a female. So back into the nest and, and as much as you don't necessarily want to do a lot of inbreeding, it is good to do some. And for the sake of perpetuating the species, we're going to do another breeding here. But definitely hoping that maybe we can find some other options soon. Beautiful. We're just going to let the joey sit in the nest. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm loving these changes. This is some brilliant stuff they've done. And it's, I feel like this is really going to help a lot of people out there. I mean, I, like I said, my biggest struggle was keeping resources available. And I feel like this is going to help immensely with that. Because now you really, you really can see very clearly what's going to be available, and that's exciting. I know I keep saying a lot about it, but it's, it's a huge, huge, just leaps and bounds forward to help out with this game's, just with the gameplay and how it works. It's, it's awesome. And now, as you see, it's raining, so we've suddenly gotten access to a lot more berries.
So this is a chance for us to really stock up. So let's see here. We've got a male and a female. So obviously we definitely kind of want to find some more breeding pairs, but for right now, once they're old enough, we're going to breed those two. Ooh, but let's... Oh, it's just a bunny. Darn. Okay. And as you can see, I'm I'm definitely getting some area explored. But the downside right now is we're not getting any new um any new breeds going on here, which is Unfortunately, going to probably kick us into Patella, because we really need some of those extra breed options. Because without them, we're going to end up having some sickly... Whoa! Okay, so that's new. A very, very loud... I'm um, guessing that's a predator. Can't really imagine what the hell else it would be. Yeah, that one, right there. So that's kind of cool that they added in some new sound effects for the predators. I like that. And out of nowhere, we get some, uh, some oddities. Interesting. <laughs> We're just going to go all out on attacking this guy. There we go. <laughs> that was a really good restock, but... Oh, nice. Let's see here. And we're restocking up again. Unfortunately, that was our primary mail right there. So that's, that's just a wee bit disturbing. So we're going to have to start. 
Hey, we got somebody. It's another female. Uh, kind of a derpy one, too. But you know what? Uh, maybe we'll be able to make do with it? I don't know. We're going to have to hope that we can, because... Oh, God, that thing is so freaking ugly. But we do have... We're going to actually pause. I thought that one was pregnant. Well, it will be. There we go. That's the best to get more of this area. Put you into there. And there we go. New kids! Yay, new kids. There we go. All right. It's a little disturbing, the graveyard over there. So it seems like we're kind of going into some drier times now. starting to reach that aggravating magical place where I'm not going to be able to do as much.
So I think we're going to call it a stop there. A little bit shorter of a video, but just I'm really impressed with some of the improvements they've made. Um, we're going to continue this particular round next time on the next episode of Niche. As always, I am Vidal Picasso's of the Dark Edge of Light. You'll be able to find links to both my social media and the social media of the Dark Edge of Light, as well as links over to the game page for Niche down in the description below. Definitely check them out. Check out their Twitter. They're constantly updating. These guys are awesome. And, you know, considering how early, I mean, again, this is a very, very early version of this game. It's already showing a ton of promise. It's out on Early Access, greenlit on Steam. Check it out, play it, and just, you know, marvel at the world that they're starting to create because it's going to be a pretty damn cool place uh, to check out and, and to see as they keep developing more and more. I can't wait to see where this all goes. We'll see you next time, but as always, game on.